When you uh, think about the artificial intelligence space in particular, I, I feel like this gets thrown around an awful lot uh, as the end-all be-all of where technology is going next. Every startup needs to have an element of this. You know, it is the wave of the future. If you're not talking about it, you're behind. I'd love to hear your thoughts as somebody who's worked in this space for years, long before it was necessarily in the mainstream of media and uh, our consciousness. How do you think about the modern innovations of, of AI and some of the applications that we're starting to see and where some of those opportunities are for uh, entrepreneurs to, to get in and contribute to this space? Yeah. Um, I think it will be really a big change for the whole industry. Like it started already from my point of view. And um, right now it's mainly like a tool, you know, like I don't believe that it will re replace um, a, a, some, someone's job fully. Maybe some of the, some of the jobs, like uh, jobs which are, let's say, not too complicated. Um, but I, I think it, it I, I see it as a tool, you know, like, for example, if you take a look at ChatGBT and stuff like that, it's mainly right now a question answering thing, right? They, they opened it up a bit with plugins, so you can now connect it to an online shop and also order things, for example. But this kind of executional level of the AI is not, not really there. Like it doesn't have access to an operation system to really, um, yeah, develop soft, software or something like this. You can ask him, uh, ask the soft, ask the, um, the, the chat GPT to, um, how to do it, how to create a mobile app, and it will give you a solution. It will mainly explain it, um, but to really create something, um, it, it needs some kind of further step. I'm not saying that it, it will not happen. I'm pretty sure it will happen, and I think it will happen soon. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about it, to be honest. Like, I, I, I think it will be a big change, and I think it will um, have influence in every industry. Uh, but I also think it's a good thing. It's just like change can be hard for people, you know, like if you're open for that um, and you see how it can benefit yourself and people around you, then it's definitely worth it to go in that direction. Um, yeah. One element of it we talked about on this program in recent weeks was you know, if you think about what artificial intelligence is in its current form, and it's going to obviously get better over time, and then we think about that in the context of, of, of ourselves, the intelligence that we gather over the course of a lifetime, one of the elements that makes human intelligence so unique, in addition to our creativity, is our lived experiences and the emotions that we layer on top of that. And all of that has a, uh, an implication as to how we express our intellect. I'm curious, when you think about the technology behind AI, the fact that it doesn't necessarily have those human features, like it doesn't have a memory the way that, that we do, at least not currently, uh, its emotions would be emotions, I suppose, of, of a, uh, an artificial sort. How do you see those as either limitations to the technology for the future to be more human-like or advantages that by not having those uh, so human elements actually give some of the intelligence more credibility or more of a dispassionate analytical quality that we could benefit from mm -hmm. i think like nearly all of that can be simulated even emotions you know it, it will not be real emotions but I, I i believe that you can create systems which have similar simulated emotions like humans have um if it's face expression um or um yeah, somebody's crying or something like this, especially in the VR world. It, I think this kind of stuff will be definitely possible. Um, and I think what is so unique and which which still always be there is these kind of things which cannot be replaced by um, something artificial. It's It's something like, imagine you organize a dinner and you're the host, you know? Like this kind of um, this kind of service, this kind of effort which you put in, this is nothing what what an engine can do from my perspective. I think it can do a lot, uh, and I think it's it's still a few years away from us. 
to be really on that kind of level. But I think this kind of things which only humans can do, which is maybe a bit more event based, um, it's hard to explain that somehow for me. But you know, like even right now, um, when we have this video call, um, imagine we would meet each other in person, it will be different when you can't do that with a computer or with, with, the, with the system, right? That these kind of things will always be there and much more important for us than before. Like I see that even for myself, when I go now out and meet someone in person, instead of being in front of the computer, especially in this kind of COVID time, everybody loves that. Everybody wants that because we're humans, we need to go out. We're kind of, um, how do you call that? Like we're kind of animals who want to live in a group, right? Like we need this kind of interaction between people. And I think this is nothing what a system can um, simulate in that kind of way, maybe in a kind of virtual way in a VR or something like this, but you will always feel that, okay, that's not 100% true.